found myself in the candle section of Home Goods as usual. Um, there's some people like in the aisle, so I found this little section here. And these candles that I mentioned, let me show you in my home decor video. This one, Manly Indulgence, this brand is so good. They have big ones now. I have the smaller ones, which are still pretty big, but they just, I just saw this one and I'm tempted. Candles are so underestimated at Home Goods. You can find so many good brands. Like I was just smelling this one. Soy Wax Blend, Port in California. It's really good, it smells really good. This is the brand I talked about in my vlog too, so good. It has the Woodwick, they smell so good. So I've been looking for something to decorate the top of the fireplace mantle, like maybe a dark black mirror that has a little bit of an arch to it, but all the ones that I found are super small, like this one's super small, or they're gold, and I don't want gold, I already have one. They have the circle ones too, but I'm not even, I don't know, I want something a little bit more like a modern feel, but I mean, the shelves are kind of empty. Not a whole lot. I do like this standing lamp. It kind of gives me Restoration Hardware vibes. It's cute. And I also randomly saw this one that is pretty cute. I'm very neutral. It's like neutral beige or olive, but this lamp is kind of cute. It has like a, a linen texture top and it's actually like olive. It's got like, you can see like it's kind of olive. It's kind of cute. I'm not going to get it, but it's, it's kind of cute. I like it. Every time I see these, it reminds me of my grandma because she always had these lamps in her house. Is this making a comeback? Gives me cozy, cozy memories, good memories, but Tiffany style stained glass lamp. If you watch Yellowstone, I watched one of their behind the scenes on the lamps they have in the Yellowstone Ranch and they're actually Tiffany style too. I didn't even know that that was a thing. So I only got one thing at Home Goods. There are so many people there and then I feel like they didn't really have much of anything in there. Probably from the holiday and stuff. You ain't ready. Oh my, it looks so tiny now that I'm looking at it, but I got a small, because Molly's a small. I didn't get Aspen any clothing because she gets really hot. And like, I still have some sweaters and stuff for her, but she gets very hot. Molly does not like to match with Aspen. If I get them stuff, it has to be like two different colors. They can't be the same. Molly gets embarrassed. She wants to do her own thing. When I saw Olive in the little fur, I just had to. So I'm gonna go, let's go try it on her and see. I was wanting to get stuff for the porch to decorate and maybe some stuff for the house. I don't know if we're gonna put up a tree this year. We're just almost done unpacking for moving. And then it's like, I'd have to move all the decor again and decorate for holiday. And I just really don't have the energy or the drive to do it. So I don't know if we're gonna do a Christmas tree this year, honestly. I would love to travel this year for Christmas and go somewhere like where it's snowing in a cabin. Hey, hey, look, I got you. I got you something in here. I did, but hold on. Hold on. I know it's for you. Hold on, girl. Hold on. Can you believe this? I just cannot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Come back over here, sis. Stay. Stay. Dun, 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 dun. I can't with her. Hold on, Molly. Let's try it on. See what's up. She's not happy about this. You'll be happy when it looks so cute and all the dogs in the neighbor can be like, who's that girl? Look how cute. Look right here, Molly. You see how cute? Just wow, just wow. Come here, wow, model it, girl. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. She gets so excited. Good girl. Focus. Molly, you had your sis. Stop being greedy. Say, look at my new jacket. Good girl, baby. You like it? Yeah, it's nice. Cute, huh? All right, I'm gonna work on these vases. So I upcycled this one last year and it got ruined in storage. So I think I'm gonna do this one like an oatmeal color and this one I wanna do black, but I want it to look, let me show you. I want it to be kind of like this vibe. You feel me?
there's a guy sitting here by himself outside with a mask so tight to his face that he can there's no way he can breathe and it says love your neighbor on it and anytime someone walks past him he like freaks out and moves away it's like how are men supposed to protect us when they're afraid of the air? Speaking of that, I just popped up on my Instagram right now. Um, people in Sweden are getting microchip implants. Apparently around 6,000 people in Sweden so far have had chips inserted into their hands since the V passport is supposed to be put into practice. Seems like the Bible just keeps jumping off the pages at this point. I mean, last year it was, oh, they'll, they'll never be V passports. That, that, that will never happen. And then the same people that said that would never happen, that that was conspiracy, now are cheering it on. Now people are getting microchips into their hands and crickets. In other news, I'm headed to the flower shop right now. Um, I went to the mall and which was a terrible idea. I shouldn't have gone, but I went to the mall just to kind of glance and see if there was any like little cute stuff for like winter clothing. I honestly wasn't impressed. Um, I wanted to go to Nordstrom, but it was really packed. So I just stopped by Zara and, um, forever 21 is next door. And I went to crate and barrel, just kind of like walking around. I'm going to head now to this flower shop that's here. They're really unique. They sell like arrangements and individuals. They have like refrigerator rooms filled with greenery. Like you can get eucalyptus. I'm probably gonna get some for the shower. Um, you can get like a whole thing of eucalyptus, like a big chunk for like seven bucks. I feel like it's a well-kept secret here. Um, another local told me about it and I've been going there. I think I might've shown it before um, in a video or on Instagram or something, but they have like refrigerator rooms full of roses and I would always get like bouquets of like two dozen roses just got some coffee i was really excited i feel like i know almost everyone that works at this shop i like ordered on ahead and they're like amanda i'm like it's like the best feeling when you know your coffee people and they they know your order and it's just chef's kiss packages this is cute from adina's jewels i've been wearing their jewelry for a while now how cute are these so they sent me these gold hoops oh my gosh and the mini ones i love chunky gold hoops i think these are plated in 14 karat gold don't hold me to that these little cases are cute too I'll link these ones they sent me down below. They also gave me a discount code, which I was really excited about because I've been wearing their jewelry for so long. That was so sweet. How cute is this? It's a little wrapped Christmas box. I don't even want to open it because it's just so cute. Thank you, Aaron and Chris. These are um, the owners of the Holy Roast. I mentioned the Holy Roast on Instagram stories. So Holy Roast is a Patriot and a Christian coffee brand. They're a small USA owned business. I've been drinking their coffee for months now. They donate a dollar of every bag to different organizations depending on the blend. This is the Warrior Blend. I haven't gotten to try this one yet, but this one supports veterans. So proceeds go to Wounded Warrior Project, Tunnels to Towers, and Disabled American Veterans. So this is the Warrior Blend. I can't wait. This one's caramel, dark chocolate, and graham cracker. Ooh. They sent me my favorite blend from them that I've tried, which is the Rescue Blend. The Rescue Blend helps to combat human trafficking. So the proceeds go to Save the Children, Operation Underground Railroad, Collaborative to End Human Trafficking, and ECPAT USA. So this is the Rescue Blend. This one is 
creamy hazelnut, dark cherry, and cacao. This is a medium dark roast. It's so good. I love hazelnut. So this is that blend. They also have a pro-life blend, which goes to help save the unborn. They have a patriot blend, which protects our constitutional rights. They're so good. And they also sent, they have these new tumblers. Wow, this is really nice. It's like an off-white color. Wow, it feels very expensive. Love it. And a cute little ornament. Just seeing that, it was like an underneath here. How cute. All right, so I need to, now that I just got home, it's like 2, uh, 3 30. I was gonna say 2 30. It's 3 30. It's already getting dark outside. I can't believe it. It's been kind of cloudy today. So I need to freshen up. Um, I'm filming for YouTube and TikTok and Instagram today as something really exciting. So I'm gonna film that. Um, I'll probably be working and filming until like at least nine or 10, I would say maybe longer. I wanna set up my backdrop for YouTube because I'm filming for YouTube. I might actually film like two real TikTok type videos, one that's more makeup focused and one that I just have this idea that I wanna do. This is my backdrop that I film for YouTube here. So I need to like redecorate it and figure out what I wanna put here. I have my new stone diffuser that I got that is so cute. I got the matte black stone because I have the white one and I loved it and it was $40 off for Black Friday. So maybe I'll use this. So if you saw this vase that I've been working on, I did black, I tried to do the dirt thing, I didn't really like it. So I went back with spackle, whatever, and did this. So I think I'm gonna spray paint or hand paint it with blacks and browns. However, in the meantime, it's kind of cute like this. I don't hate it. So I might actually use it like this until I get the paint that I want, until I have time to repaint it. And then I have like two different vases, you know what I mean? This vase that was the brown one, it's really cute. I don't know if I'm gonna add any more paint. I think I might just leave it like this, but it turned out really good. Remember it was like that saddle brown. I left some of the brown so um, it would seep through. I love decorating my backdrops. It's like one of the funnest things. So just so you can have kind of like a price reference of everything, these were the most expensive and the smallest thing, of course. These were $20, I think, which is expensive. Um, but I usually, I usually get roses if I'm gonna buy the more expensive ones. But everything else, like for the bunch, I think this was $6. Um, I, so I got these. They just look like frosted fur. I don't know what these technically are. They smell very green. I got olive. These, I think, were $7.50. On Etsy, a big thing of this is like 30 bucks. So that just shows you how good the prices are. I'm going to try to dry these out. But I got some olive. They had a ton of olive. The magnolia, I think these were 10 or 12 Magnolia is like a staple. I thought they were very pretty. I got this bunch of cedar. This was $7.50. I was looking at a bunch that was less than this on Etsy. It was like 30 something dollars without even $9 shipping. So I got this. It smells so good. I was looking for juniper berry, but they didn't have, they had some kind of like blueberry fern or something it was called, but they weren't blue. They were like the same color and these looked more green. I think these are golden tips. I don't know, but I got these as well. So I want to like decorate and these are all real. They're not dried or preserved. So I want to figure out what I want to do with everything.
I just finished filming a YouTube video wearing my brand new Liberty Before lipstick shirt. How cute is this? I love it so much. Um, I'm launching this as well as, please hold, this Esther 414 hat. How cute is this? It's embroidered. It's a flex fit hat. So it doesn't have a little thing in the back, but it still fits on if you want to wear like a low bun, ponytail, whatever. You can still like have it below, but it's neutral, nude. It was so hard to even find nude hats. There have been so many delays when it comes to merch. It's been so hard to find quantities of stuff. Rafael was so sweet. He made us dinner when he got back from the gym. So that was great. And he's been working and doing some stuff. So I wanted to give you guys a little update. I feel like in a lot of my vlogs, I don't have makeup on lately just because I've been running around. So I'm like, I have makeup on. I've had it on for a long time. Hopefully it still looks good. I want to show you guys one more thing. So these just came in the mail. They're super cute. I showed them on my story. So these are from a company called Alabaster & Co. I linked it on Instagram. Um, the top came a little bit messed up, but that's okay. No one will see it. So these are books of the Bible. I got the stack that is Proverbs and Psalms. These are the soft covers. They have hard covers as well. And then they have imagery throughout. I got the King James version because that's my favorite version. Um, but they also have NLT, which is also a great version. But check it out. How cool is that? So I got these because I have like Tom Ford, like fashion books. Um, and they're just so cliche and boring. I really don't want them anymore. Who is she? I just, I, I want books of substance in my home, whether it's obviously the most important book, which is the Bible. But I want like books on nature and like things that I enjoy. Things that bring the value. Not like to me, those fashion books are just whatever. I've had them for a while, was in that phase. So I thought these were super cute and they're great coffee table books. Um, great books to put like that look cute next to your nightstand or on your dresser and to also like read and enjoy. This is the Psalms. How cute. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm so excited to use these, but I had them sitting just back here because I just got them and they're super cute. And also you guys saw how my backdrop turned out. Super cute. It smells so good in here. I'm like in the way right now, but it smells so good in here. It smells very green. I actually had, if you remember, I had some flowers in here, some of like little white flowers. I just forgot to put them back. I had them in here and they started to kind of wilt because they're obviously real flowers. So I had to go put them in water and put them in the sun. And then I, I made some other like little decor stuff that I showed on here that I just kind of put them throughout the house and it looks cute. I ended up not putting up a tree. I have a smaller tree that I used to use in my backgrounds of my videos, I might put that up later. We don't know what we're doing for Christmas yet. If I decide to stay here and my family comes here, then I might put up a little tree for Alyssa, my niece, because anything for her. She just turned one a few months ago. So I wanna like make sure she enjoys and make it cute for her. But if not, if we travel, then, then I'm not going to, but yeah. That's an update. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna go shower eat something and uh, just be editing probably for a couple more hours maybe like two or three hours I'll do some editing we'll see we'll see we'll see how much I get done that's the thing about working for yourself is it never stops which if you love what you do it's awesome I definitely feel it during the winter time because I'm not getting as much vitamin d so I need to be eating more vitamin d rich foods I feel it like I'm, I'm tired and I didn't get to work out I only worked out I think one day this week what's today Wednesday I've only been to the gym one day I gotta, I gotta get back at it, but I'm trying to like pump out this content, get this stuff done so I can like do all my business stuff for the end of the year. I always enjoyed Christmas until I started working for myself and have my own business because it's like, you've got so much to do those last couple weeks of the year to prepare for the end of the year. Um, you know, taxes, business stuff, all of that, preparing for next year. I can't believe we're almost in 2022. All right, I'm out. God bless. See you guys in my next video.